Greetings everyone, my name is Josh, welcome back to a brand spanking new video. Now you might be wondering, where am I? This is my redstone testing world. I will play Minecraft, and one of the things I like to do in Minecraft is redstone actually. So I was in my world and I was thinking, you know what, let's make a tutorial on something. Maybe, maybe someone will get, a, will get a good kick out of it. So I was experimenting with some flying machine robots actually which uses slime blocks and redstone blocks and all that sort of stuff and creates kind of it's a flying machine but it looks like a robot which I think is pretty cool so this is what I came up with I am calling this the BattleBot MIDI it's a robot which is very cheap to make takes little time to set up and gives the user complete control over the movement and weapons I'll show you how to use it real quick so all you have to do to move it forward by one block is right click right here with a flint and steel. Right click that, boom, moves you forward. Cool, right? To use the weapons, all you have to do is activate the TNT of your choice, and then right click here, and it launches the TNT forward. This allows you to store TNT on the arms, and also gives you complete control over the timings of the TNT and when you want it to launch, which I think is really cool. Now, let's do the tutorial, shall we? To build the BattleBot Mini, you're going to need two blocks of your choice, 16 slime blocks, three glass, five redstone blocks, five regular pistons, and one sticky piston. You can also use TNT if you'd like, and to power it, you're going to need a flint and steel. If you want the arm cannons to be completely automated, then you'll also need two redstone blocks and two slime blocks. Okay, so all of these steps are going to be done with keeping in mind that the robot will be going in that direction, okay? So the first thing you want to do is get your legs done. So all you have to do is place the two blocks of your choice, go two slime blocks up on both of them, and then on the back, place two redstone blocks there and there. After that, go up a few blocks, and then place three slime blocks right here. On the bottom two sides, place two regular pistons. After that, go take two slime blocks and go on either side of the top of the slime block line. After that, place a regular piston right here and right here. These will be the shoulders. After that, we're going to be putting in the engine. In order to do that, you need one sticky piston facing here, facing that way, and then a regular piston facing that way. And then the last step, oh, well, actually, sorry, not the last step, what am I doing? The next step is the arms. What you want to do is place two redstone blocks diagonal from the regular pistons and then make kind of like a mini L shape like this on each side connected to the redstone block and then the last step is to place a, a glass block in between the two legs so right here go out by one slime block and then place glass on the top of the two legs and then on top of the slime block. And after that, place one redstone block on top of the engine, which is going to be right in the middle here. And then two TNT if you'd like. After that, you're done. <laughs> Told you it wouldn't take that long. If I went too fast, let me know. Or if I went too slow, let me know. This is going to be my first tutorial, so. Give me any suggestions down below if you think I should change anything. I did try to make this design as simple as I could, so hopefully you didn't have any trouble building it. But let's talk about the optional arm cannons, the, the uh, automatic arm cannons, I should say. So if you want these to be automatic, all you need to change is get rid of the TNT because you don't want those there. Place a slime block here, and a stone block. And then on the other side, do the same exact thing. Slime block and a redstone block. 
So now it'll function the same. You can still still move forward as you can see. But instead of you having to use your flint and steel on the TNT, all you have to do is put the TNT here. It'll automatically a activate, move forward, and it fires by itself. Like that. I prefer not to use this just so I have more control, but if you'd like to use that, you go right ahead because it is pretty cool, I think. So yeah, that was the BattleBot Mini, my first tutorial on what I think was a pretty cool mini robot. But with that, it is time to end the video. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, let me know. Tell me what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it. If you subscribe or like the video, leave a comment below saying so, so I can thank you. Other than that, thanks again so much for watching. Take care, have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.